I created a mitten tree modern desk I'm using the Ikby Alex shelf with drawers in white for this project. I love mid-century modern design. I'm actually trying to incorporate this design into my entire home with maybe like an urban Afrocentric twist to it as well. So this tutorial is very simple, very easy, and I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, see you later. So to start this project off, you are first going to purchase the Ikby Alex shelf with drawers in white from Ikea. And uh, they had the finished dimensions on here, but what I would suggest is putting together at home and then measuring it to get the full dimensions for the wood that you're going to need to cut to surround the drawer. And the dimensions that I got were four inches, four and a half inches by 24 inches for the shorter side pieces and 24 inches by 48 and 3 eighths inches for the top and bottom portions of the desk. And so I'm going to go ahead and measure out the second piece for the side. And I really, sometimes I don't trust my cuts because um, I would suggest getting it cut professionally at the Home Depot. You would normally be able to get all pieces cut, but I think it's because I showed up with Sir. Um, that's the reason why I couldn't get everything cut. But you know, they only do so many inches. But it's fine. Luckily, I was fortunate to have a saw on hand and I'm just using my t-square to make sure that everything is even and straight and square of course then I'm going to take my sanding block and sand in uh, all the rough edges and then this is option one of putting your table together I use liquid nail uh, for the office desk that I made for myself and um, I, if you don't have a brad nailer, this is what you were just going to have to do if you don't rent one. And then you take your short pieces and then you glue it to your bottom portion of the desk. And you're going to use um, these clamps to press everything down and, and let it dry overnight. And now it's time to stain. So you're going to need a paintbrush, some latex gloves, and your selection of wood finish, I chose Early American. And make sure that you read the directions on the back. Even I still read the directions just to make sure that I don't miss a step. So you're going to head and use your sanding block again. And just get all those rough edges out of your uh, wood. This is pre-sanded um, pine. So it's already sanded, but I just wanted to go in there and just clean up some of the areas that I, I had cut. And then you want to take a clean t-shirt or a rag and just wipe off all the dust. Just use it dry and just get all the extra dust off of it. So you want to go ahead and open up your stain. And you're going to stir up your product really good to get everything that's settled at the bottom mixed in really well. And you just want to go ahead and start brushing on your stain until it's completely covered. And then you're going to take a rag, a separate rag from when you are drying it off or wiping off all the dust. Take a separate rag and just start wiping off the excess stain that didn't soak into the wood. I was really excited at that point. I wanted to start to see my, my handy dandy work. So yeah, I'm just going to continue to wipe off the rest of the stain and you have the option of doing another coat, but I was pretty satisfied with the color so I'm going to go and head on to the polyurethane section of the process. So you're going to open up your polyurethane and you're going to mix it up to get everything that's settled to, from the, to the bottom all the way up to the top. And you're going to just start, you know, with the same process after the stain has dried. I think it's like four hours the stain needs to dry. But after your stain dries, you're going to put your poly on. 
And this is when you really start to see a finished product, like something that you saw out of a magazine or at the store. This is the exact process that I did with my vanity. I'll link my vanity post in this video um, so you can see how I did this with my vanity. And I'm just taking some of the polyurethane and adding it to the edges of the desk as well. And you also want to tape off the legs. I got these legs from Waddell, from Home Depot, um, or you can get them directly from Waddell. These are the 22 inch legs and I stained them, pre-stained them, and then I'm just going to put some poly on them as well. So once the first coat of poly has dried, you're going to go back in with your sanding block and give it another good sanding. And take a rag and just wipe it off. Now this second coat is what makes it really shine and gloss. It's just perfection. And so this is the option too that I did for another person's desk. After everything was said and done, I got my hands on a Brad Neller. I'm really hoping one day I can get myself one of these, these uh, Brad Neller guns because they make the job so much easier. Stapling all your pieces to the shelf and it just makes it 10 times easier. Just make sure you shoot straight down because um, that's the goal. And now it's time to put on the legs. After they've dried, I'm going to use these Waddell angle top plates to create that angle shape for the legs that are all mid-century modern legs have. And I'm just gonna measure out the positioning for each bracket um, at one and a half inches by six inches. I'm marking five, but I moved, later moved them to six. And it looks totally better with them being inside or, or inside a little bit closer. And then you're just going to start um, marking the holes for where you want your screws to, um, to go. The brackets actually come with screws, so no need to purchase any extra screws. And you are just going to start screwing your um, screwing the screws in the brackets for the legs. And you can go ahead and start twisting your legs into the brackets, which are now on an angle. And that's how it's looking standing all the way up and now it's pretty much time to put the shelf inside this is the way I did it for the first time um, but I use um, liquid nail to secure the shelf into the inside of this desk cavity and you slide it on in there make sure that it is nice and even you don't want it to be even off a little bit because it just look funny um but then you want to take some more liquid nail put it on the top and then you're going to also put it along the edges of the shelf as well and you're going to put your top on now if you had a brad nailer this part is pretty much already done uh, but if you're using the liquid nail this is how you basically do it um, and then you're going to take your some clamps and then you're going to clamp down both sides I actually ran out of clamps so I had to do it one at a time but that is basically how the desk is put together and you let it dry so this part is optional but I kind of wanted to have easy access to put my cords into the wall so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a circular uh, drill bit and I'm going to just right now, I'm just trying to figure out which size um, drill bit I want to use um, for, for the, to drill a hole in the back of the desk so you can put any type of cords or anything you need to do inside to go down to the wall. So this one looks like it'll do. And my drill sucks, like the battery's dying. So just believe it got done with another drill. Um, but this is how you're going to drill the hole and your desk ends up looking like this. A very mid-century modern fabulous desk um, this second desk I met my client absolutely loved it it is for her sunroom slash office and I think it looks just perfect in her very cool studio space and all right guys that is how you make a mid-century modern desk using an IKEA hat hey guys welcome back I hope you enjoyed that video if you did give this video a big thumbs up like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter at HandyHomeGirl14. All right, guys, I will see you later and have a great day. Peace. Hey, homies. You can find more DIY tips and tutorials at TheHandyHomeGirl.com. And stay up to date by subscribing to my blog and my YouTube channel. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. 
See you later, guys. Bye.